Hey everyone, I decided to share a quick video today based on uh, a few sessions that I've done this week and people dealing with anxiety, stress, frustration, overwhelm, things of that nature. Along with um, some, of my, some of my recent videos, so some of the things that I've shared in there, developing a felt sense, uh, heart breathing, things like that. When you're able to start feeling the emotion in your body, and you can ask, you know, it, it, in order to get into your body, you can see, you can ask, what am I, well, not, not just what am I feeling and aware, but specifically, what am I feeling in my chest right now? What's happening in there? What sensations? What emotion? Um, you can notice the breathing. Same thing with your belly. You can say, what am I, what am I feeling in that area? Get very, very specific. And there's always something. There's always a sensation, at least, if not an emotion. Emotions might show up in symptoms like tension in the neck and the arms, restlessness, things like that. Um, but the emotions tend to start in the heart, uh, solar plexus, or lower gut area, sometimes all three. Once you kind of contact the emotion, once you can really feel it in your body, so below your neck, then you can ask three very specific questions. I've shared these before, but they came up this week, so I thought I'd share them again. I thought it's uh, very, very worthwhile. Um, this actually came up with a few people, about three, four people. So if you're feeling anxiety, if you're feeling stress, frustration, whatever, if you can take a moment, you know, ask, what am I feeling? Where is it? So you get into your body. And then ask these three questions. Number one, what am I focused on? right now. And I don't mean what are you doing? I mean, where is your attention being directed while you're doing whatever it is you're doing or not, whatever the case may be. So in other words, is your is your attention focused on maybe the future and what if scenarios? Oh, what if this doesn't work? What if I can't pay that bill? What if I, you know, this doesn't come together? So kind of a worst case scenario kind of idea. That's one possibility. There's many. Another possibility, another example would be a past orientation. So you're focused on what did or didn't happen to you or for you, what was missing, let's say. Or maybe you're focused on what's missing presently. Okay. Another focus could be on the thousand and one things you have to do. And so you're never really available for any one thing because you're always scattered, always thinking about these different things. Or if you're, if you're dwelling on the past, you're focused on the past or on the future. Again, you're not really here. We're not really here when we do that in this moment, which is our only place of actual existence, but our only place of power. You know, it's been told that um, when you take care of this moment properly, the future takes care of itself. And that's true. So first question, what am I focused on? Second question, what meaning am I giving this situation or this relationship? Or this circumstance. So inherently nothing has, nothing in existence has well, an inherent meaning. As human beings, we're, we're blessed and we're, you know, maybe cursed at first if we don't do this consciously, which I think is most people, with the ability to create meaning. I'll give you two examples. They're really easy to understand. Let's say you're walking down the street with, uh, you know, three friends. So there's four of you. You come across a black cat. Now, friend number one says, wow, it's beautiful. I love cats and wants to, wants to go over and pet it. Friend number two says, you know, it's fucking disgusting. I hate cats. They're mangy. Wants to go over and kick it. Friend number three says, oh my God, black cat, get me out of here. They're terrified. It's bad luck. Friend number four says, eh, you know, it's a cat. So same, exact same situation, four distinct meanings. Are you with me on that? Does that make sense? Another example would be, let's say you take a couple and they get into an argument. These are two examples that I use a lot. Easy to understand how we create meaning. So they get into, a, into an argument. One partner goes, oh my God, it's over. And they're devastated. The other partner goes, well, that really fucking sucked. But now we have a chance to grow closer together. And they're actually, you know, they're hurting, but they're hopeful. Maybe even excited at the, po at the possibility. So you see exact same situation, but we have two distinct meanings here. Okay. So first question, what am I focused on? Second question, what meaning am I giving this 
situation. The third question, then you, you once you have that, those two answered, and again, it helps tremendously if you can practice feeling the emotion in the body, not thinking about it, just feeling it, and then answering from that place. It's a very distinct answer. There's a very different quality to the answer when you can do that. You get a lot clearer. It's a lot more truthful, a lot more authentic, not reactionary. So then the third question is, what paths of action are available to me right now? Good, I, I forgot to mention this. At the end of each question, you can put on the words right now. Those are very powerful questions. Very powerful words, rather, to add to the questions. So, what paths of action are available to me right now? To solve this, to, to rectify, to what, whatever. So, that could be as simple as a phone call. It could be an email you need to write. It could be maybe you go for a walk, do some deep breathing, take a bath, you know, go connect with somebody, go for a drive, any number of things, work on your website, whatever. So those three questions, guys, when you're, when you're facing uh, frustration, when you're facing stress, overwhelm, again, it's not like I'm free from these things. They, they do come up. I find these questions very, very powerful. And they can actually alleviate uh, a lot of that stress as long as we don't, as long as, we, as long as we're not trying to change it, trying to run from, it, but instead we learn to feel, and then we take our actions based on these types of questions. Um, I'd love to know, you know, if you're following these videos at all, I'd love to know how any of these suggestions are working for you. If you'd like so, some more support, please feel free to reach out. You can direct message me. Um, actually, you can give me a, you can text me even. Uh, give me a text, give me a call, 778-533-2459. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. And again, it's Sean Carpenter, and I look forward to hearing, hopefully hearing from you soon.